Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're here to speculate, hypothesize, and also just get excited for some new Mega Construct sets. It's about that time of year that we're going to see a lot of new announcements. New York Toy Fair should have been around this time, so we're going to see a lot of new reveals. First of all, I want to uh, sort of apologize for last night's live stream. It was the great catastrophe of the dual mode Warthog. My Wi-Fi just completely bucketed like the whole building and I had to cancel the live stream. It was it was a bit of a shame, but you know, we're gonna get through this. But moving swiftly past that problem, we're here today to talk about Mega Halo Day, a brand new event that was announced recently on a Halo Waypoint blog post. This was a post mostly talking about the fixes coming to BTB and Halo Infinite in general. I don't know if you knew, but BTB has been a little unplayable recently. It was also talking about the HCS Championship, including all the skins and downloads you could get from that event. I made a video covering that last weekend and I hope you were able to watch that and get all of these skins. Please do make sure to check out this channel for all the latest downloadable skins and emblems you can get in Halo Infinite. I do a lot of videos talking about that so please do make sure to like and subscribe to be up to date with that information. In that blog post they also announced Mega Halo Day. We're excited to announce Mega Halo Day in partnership with our awesome friends at Mega. We'll be sharing details about upcoming Halo sets in a virtual panel and kicking off the second Mega Halo fan vote. Last year you voted for Halo Haunted for Halo Hero Series 16, releasing this fall and this year you'll be able to vote for a new Halo product from Mega. That is so exciting guys, like that is so exciting. It has been so long since we've been able to vote for an actual set. I mean a Halo Hero is cool but a full set and that just makes you wonder what is that set going to be? This is two kind of speculations really. The first thing, what sets are they going to announce at the virtual panel? I'm going to cover what that virtual panel could be and what sets I want to see there in a future video. And the second thing we got to talk about is what is this vote going to be? It says a new Halo product, so I hope it's going to be a lot more than just a new Halo hero. I hope we're going to be voting on a set. Like, that's what I really want to see here. Let's vote on the next set to be released. If it's a full set, then we might see a full year before it's released, maybe even a year and a half. Halo Hero Series 16 vote was about a year ago now, and we're still only going to see it in fall. So Mega has a large turnaround window on these products of at least a year. So we're going to see what happens here. But I'm really excited by this. I'm really excited with the cooperation between 343 and Mega. Really happy to see that Mega is continuing to push for fan community feedback. Like, they're really trying to step up their engagement with the community, and I respect the heck out of it. For the second year in a row, New York Toy Fair has been cancelled cancelled and Mega have always used New York Toy Fair as a great platform to preview and display their new products and we've seen some amazing previews in the past like every year Mega has come to New York Toy Fair and revealed like basically their entire new lineup. So there's a big void right now that needs to be filled. Clearly Mega is going to use this Mega Halo Fan Day as a way to do a New York Toy Fair virtually and I'm I'm all about it guys like I'm all about it. So here Here's to the Mega Halo Day. I'm really looking forward to seeing more information on this. The rest of this video, we're going to speculate on what we think is going to be announced at the virtual panel and what we think we might be able to vote on. So last year, Mega did the first ever MCX fan vote where you could vote for your favorite Halo Heroes figure to make it into Series 16. The voting was fierce, if not a little bit biased towards the end, like there was a clear winner. There was the Flood Combat Form, a CQB from Halo 3, Haunted Helmet and Thrall Slayer. The CQB was the clear loser here with only 5% of the vote. The Flood Combat Form got 28%. That was 7.7 thousand votes. The CQB only 1.5 thousand. Justice for Thrall Slayer, man. Like, I really wanted him to win 8.5 thousand votes, but he got blew away by the Haunted Helmet, 10.2 thousand votes. And the Haunted Helmet, we've seen a lot of behind the scenes renders of this in the last couple of months. Like, I've absolutely loved the engagement Mega has had. The transparency showing the 3D renders, the sketches, and 
the eventual 3D printed mold of this haunted helmet with removable visor, brand new chest. Like this is a, it's gonna be a really great figure guys. Like series 16 is gonna be flawless. And now we've got to think to ourselves, well, what's coming next? They're going to have this virtual panel, right? And I think at the virtual panel, they'll announce pretty much the full lineup for this year, all of the full sets. But then this second mega fan vote, they clearly show that series 16 was last year, but they don't say a new Halo figure. They say a new Halo product for this year's vote. So the only other time we've ever voted for a product was the Halo Fest countdown. Amongst three other sets, the attendees of Halo Fest were able to vote on what set they wanted to be released. The countdown was a close marginal winner and has this beautiful sticker on it, the Halo Fest fan choice winner. I look back at Halo Fest and I'm like, man, I wish I was old enough to go to that at the time. It was the 10 year anniversary of Halo and we've just done the 20th anniversary. So obviously this was 10 years ago. There were three sets you could vote for, a spirit dropship, a cauldron clash kind of forerunner structure, and the countdown saber. I think it's kind of an ironic one because the spirit was eventually released anyway, and kind of so was the other build. It looks like a forerunner structure, but this eventually became cauldron clash, let's be honest. And then we also had the saber. Those gold figures also kind of got re-released in other sets. This is an original tweet from Halo. The Mega Bloks prototype fan choice is the saber. Only beat the spirit by three votes and then the spirit became a signature build anyway. Halo Fest was, oh man, I'm just gonna go down a little rabbit hole for a second here. I know you guys will appreciate this. Halo Fest looked insane back in the day. Some beautiful props here, including that spiker that I assume was used in the Halo 3 Believe campaign trailers. And then that scarab from Action Clicks is a really great one. We've got a birthday cake with a Spartan and a grunt. Then this beautiful mega block Spartan looks outrageous. And then we had the Halo Fest figures. Apparently, there were three locations at Halo Fest where you could talk to Mega employees and get one of these figures. And there was a chase figure, the AC Jackal, an absolutely legendary character. All four of these go for crazy amounts on eBay right now. Classic screenshot from Commander Bakara there. And the Grunt was also at Halo Fest. And this Halo CE UNSC Warthog, a gorgeous, gorgeous build. One of the highest commodity collectibles now. I have a signed one by Frank O'Connor and loads of other members of the team. It's just a gorgeous collectible, something that everybody should have. And I wanna show you this image now. This You'll lose your minds over this. This is the original palette of the Halo Fest Warthogs. There's like a million dollars here. If you take the current market value, well over a million dollars of product in this one picture. I mean, can you imagine being in that warehouse? It would have been so dope. So Halo Fest came and went and the countdown was the winner. And I'm pretty happy it was, even though the other two sets kind of got released anyway, but the countdown was awesome. Awesome. I think it's one of the best sets ever, and it comes with those two Reach Marines that are to die for. So the Countdown is the only set that we've seen so far that has had a fan vote for a full set and been produced. So now we're thinking, well, if it's a Halo product, is it just a figure? I would really like to hope it's a set. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna speculate on what kind of set it might be. I'm saying, let's bring back signature builds, guys. Warship Gabracken, Gabracken, something like that. The original Banished Warship, and you also see these warships in the sky in Halo Infinite multiple times, I would love to see a huge banished warship as a SIG build. Then we're talking the rest of the banished. There are so many new vehicles that we need to see. I would love to see a banished locust. I would love to see a banished phantom. We've already had a couple of leaks online that suggest we might get a banished phantom this year, but it's not confirmed. And then of course, we've got to talk about the big dog, the banished scarab. I think there is a good chance this is going to be one of the votes. Mega knows that fans are crying out for a new Scarab, and it just makes sense to me. Even though it's not an infinite yet, I think it will be eventually. What is an infinite is an FOB, a forward operating base. I would love to see that. Halo Collector's Kevin Hurd really thinks that we're going to see some new character packs, so let me know in the comments down below what kind of character pack you would like to see. We know that Red Team Charge might be on the way, but I would personally like to see a new multiplayer map. I've been saying this for a long time, Mega needs to make more maps. I really love the sets that you can actually display your characters on. I don't even know if they sell as well, but things like the original Snowbound and the Assault on High Ground are probably my most favorited sets over the years because they're just gorgeous for displays. This is the first year of Mega's new line called Halo Universe, where it is sets produced across the Halo eras, not just infinite.
Infinite with the Arbiter's Quest Winter Contingency, lots of new sets, and we've got to ask ourselves what's coming next. We have Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags displayed on the screen here. They celebrate all different Halo games, and that Brute is my favorite of the set. And then we also have the brand new Halo Hero Series 15, which also celebrates not only games, but also Halo Nightfall with Agent Locke. There are so many possibilities here, and I'm really hyped to see if Mega goes down. Like, are we going to be voting for a Halo Infinite set, or are we going to be voting for a Halo Universe set? I made a couple of wish list videos on what I would like to see from Halo Heroes. Here are my displays on the screen. I want to see a Brute Honor Guard. I really want to see a re-release of Ratas Vedum for the fans. And you know me, I am all about re-releasing characters, like, for example, Alpha 9. We need re-releases of those ODSTs. Then I made a wish list on my favorite blind bag figures, or the figures I would really like to see. I did a lot of predictions based on what I expect to see, not exactly what I want. But an NMPD officer would be in there, so would a Halo 2 Marine General and a Heretic Leader. But enough from me, guys. I want to hear from you. This is going to be the first video in a series where I ask for your feedback directly. You can leave your feedback in the comments down below, or you can join our Discord, link in the description below. And if you join our Discord, you can head down to our brand new channel. Here, we're going to discuss Mega Constructs, and I'm going to use my favorite comments in upcoming videos. This will all make sense the more I do this, but this is the first opportunity you have to be featured in one of my videos by going to MCX Feedback and leaving your comments. This feedback channel will be updated all the time with today's topic. Today's is what set do you want to see Mega Constructs release this year? And I'm going to use some of those comments to talk about the upcoming Mega Constructs virtual panel. What sets are they going to announce? What are they going to tease? What would you like to see from the future? I want this channel to open way more up to community feedback. I want you guys to be a big part of this channel. So if you want to leave your feedback, head over to our Discord link in the description below. I think we're at a very good time right now. 343 is engaging with Mega Constructs, and Mega Constructs is engaging with the community. That's what I want to do too. This was another video with the domain. If you found this information useful, please do like and subscribe with the bell on, and stay awesome, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Stick with this channel for all your Mega Constructs news.